Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see your first option where it's going to say your device's name or your name. Just make sure to make a backup there using your iCloud or hook it up to your computer and make your backup there if you're running out of space on your iCloud. Now on PC, you can use iTunes and on Mac, you can use Finder. I would also like to mention that if you're having any problems with the update, you can also update it through your computer with the same programs I just told you, Finder or iTunes. But anyways, once you're done making that backup, just in case something goes wrong, scroll down, you're going to go into general, and then your second option will say software update. Under your software update, this will pop up, iOS 15.7, you should be up to date, or maybe you're not up to date. But down here below, it's going to tell you, also available, iOS 16. If nothing's popping up, what I would do is just refresh my phone so you can restart it or just go to automatic updates and turn it off and on. Then just go back and you should be able to see upgrade to iOS 16. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Just tap there, tap on download and install. It will ask you for a passcode if you have one. Then we're going to see this on the bottom right hand side of our screen. Just tap on us agree, tap agree again on the middle of your screen and at this point you can use your cell phone data or Wi-Fi. So that's just in case your Wi-Fi goes out or anything like that. So let's say right now my Wi-Fi is fine, but it goes off for some reason, it can use my data. Or I can just tell it, no, don't use my data, only use my Wi-Fi. So it's really up to you. I'm gonna choose data, it's just fine. And here we go. So it's gonna download and then it's gonna go ahead and install. So make sure that you have that backup done Make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. Even then, I would suggest hooking up your iPhone, iPad Touch to your computer or to anywhere just to charge it up meanwhile you're doing this. And yes, the downloading process does depend on your internet speed. So for some of you, this could take a couple seconds, others a couple of minutes. If you want to learn a little bit more about iOS 16, just tap on Learn More. And right here, it's going to give you a quick view of everything you're getting from iOS 16 which is actually quite a bit. But anyways, right now all we can do is just wait for this to download to be done. Then we can just tap on install and keep going with the update. Now I also do wanna give a quick warning for those of you who are using very specific apps that not all apps will work with iOS 16. Some of them, depending on the developer, will only work on iOS 15. So remember not to just update your iPhone iPod Touch to the latest iOS if you're not 100% sure that the app that you're using will work with the latest update. And yes, that is actually according to the developer of your app. It's not really about Apple, but the developer who made your app, they're the ones that they have to update their app to work with the latest iOS. So just a few minutes after, once this is done downloading, you can go ahead and tap on install, that's on the bottom. It's gonna verify the update. We're gonna see a black screen, Apple logo, and a loading bar. Once the update's done, we should see something like so. From here, just scroll up and that's it. Now, quick note, not all iPhones or iPads or iPod Touch can actually update to this. Actually, iPod Touch cannot update to iOS 16. They can only meet up to iOS 15 and that's only for the newest iPod Touch. As for iPhones and iPads, same deal. Older iPhones and iPads cannot be updated to iOS 16, not even if you jailbreak them. So if you're looking away around to get iOS 16 into your iPhone or iPad, I'm sorry, but there is actually no way of doing that. You can only update to the latest iOS if your iPhone iPad is compatible with the latest one. So with this video, I'm gonna save you a lot of time and research because you will not be able to update to the latest iOS unless, again, your device is compatible. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.